Now that you have successfully connected your UK departure board to the internet, we're now going to look at how you can customise the look and feel of your departure board. We're going to focus on the classic board here. However, the same principles apply to both the desktop and the pro. Now that we have already added our board to our account, we can now start to customise the look and feel of the board. Along the top here, we've got several options. This tab here is for rail. Here you can set your departure board to show a national rail station, a heritage railway or junctions and depots which are used for freight. You can also set your departure board to show a station on the London Underground or the DLR, buses across the country, tram and metro and this device tab shows you information about your board including the name of it, the device brightness and the audio settings. You can also attach a Bluetooth speaker from this screen. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my classic board, which is just here. And I will now go into rail. And here you can see I currently have it set for York. And as you can see, this is the train information for York station. What I want to do is actually change that station. So we delete the station name here and I'm now going to put in London Euston. And there it is London Euston in the drop down box. I click on that. Now that I've added the station, I can actually set up different rules to filter out different trains. For example, if I only wanted to show Lioness line trains, I can actually type in Watford Junction. This will mean that only trains with the destination of Watford Junction will be shown. You can see we've got different platform numbers for Euston Station and we can actually remove certain platforms so that any trains that are booked from those platforms will not be displayed. Moving further down, I can change the source of the train information. So it is set to National Rail Inquiries at the moment. Real-time trains is also another good source of information. As we move down, you can see we've got these switches. Now, there are lots of these switches which allow you to adjust and finesse the board to your liking. Please note that not all of these features are available with the free account and you may need to upgrade to a premium subscription to gain access to some of these features. As we move further down the board, we have the station randomizer, alarms, and down here, this particular slider here allows you to hide services that depart in the next zero minutes. This is actually a very useful feature and one of my favorites. What it means is that you could have your departure board at home and for example, say that your station is a 15 minute walk away. In that case, you don't actually want to see trains that are departing within the next 15 minutes because unless you get a lift down there, you're not gonna be able to catch them. What you can do is you can select this and we'll set it to 20 minutes. And what it will do is hide any trains that are departing within the next 20 minutes. As you can see on the board here, this is still set for York. When I press this update board button here, it's going to send my new configuration to the board and it will change the station to Euston. It will only show trains that are going to Watford Junction and you'll notice by the time and the time at the time of filming is 21.06. You can see that the next train is at 21.30, which means that there possibly are trains before 21.30, but we filtered them out using the configuration tool. We'll pick out another feature here, which is show head code. As you can see at the moment, the trains are referred to by time, but if I flick this switch to show head code and update the board, remember you must click update the board for any of your changes to take effect. Please note, if you do want to show head codes, you will need to change the feed to real-time trains, or you can use National Rail Inquiries alternative. Now what you will see happen is the head code is interleaved with the time of the train. Let's have a look at some other features now. So depending on your subscription, whether you've got the free or the premium, if you have the premium, you will have access to features such as the weather and news. And we can scroll both the weather and news on the board. We've got station messages, so we can put up our own 
custom messages on the board. Then you've got this one here, no services screen. That shows you what happens to the board when there are no trains to be shown. There you go, we've got our custom message in there. And then we've got the colors. And if you are a premium user, you've got access to this. This is the colors. So you can change the colors of the board. There are some preset ones as well. So what I'm going to click here is I'm going to have a look at, um, we'll go for this, this one here. So update the board and we will now see the colors change on the board to the preset that one of the other users has created. There you go. Please note that desktop departure boards do not support this feature. Now you can change that. So you can see here the different colors for the different text. So we've got the calling at text. I might actually want to change that to, let's, uh, let's make it that. And then we update board. And then the, word, the words calling at will now have a different color. There we are. Lots of different options for you to have a look through. So there are some audio packs that you can download onto your departure board. There are two voice artists. There's Eleanor Hamilton and then there's Matt Streeton. That's right. I have a voice pack on UK departure boards because you may recognize my voice from the National Rail System announcing trains at stations such as London, Victoria, St Pancras International and Brighton. but I do a voice pack for UK departures boards and I'm gonna show you how to download and activate them. First of all, what you will need to note is you will need to purchase the voice pack from the website that you wish to download. However, then also please note, you must have a premium subscription to be able to activate the voice pack. Once you have downloaded your voice pack, it will appear on the correct tab. So we are currently on the rail tab at the moment because we want national red announcements rather than the tube announcements and right down towards the bottom you will see we have an audio section here now i've got eleanor hamilton selected there already as it says here voice packs can be purchased from the website and you need a premium subscription to be able to use the voice pack so please don't buy the voice pack unless you intend to take out a premium subscription you can then customize the announcements to how you want them to sound. You can turn off the chimes, you can turn off cancellation announcements, you can turn off delay announcements so that it's not bombarding with announcements all the time. You can even change what parts of the message you want to play and you don't want to play. So for example here, I can actually now turn off the calling pattern. I could turn off how many coaches the train is formed of, but we're gonna put those back on there. I might want to turn off the next service to arrive and depart announcement and then as you move down you can see there's further different options for you to play around with and adjust what is then important to do is to actually enable the audio so first of all we'll update the board and you'll see we get this train settings you'll see we get this confirmation message at the bottom then we go to device and then down here we've got device audio so what i will now do is activate the device audio and you can also change the volume. So for example, in the daytime from six o'clock till 2300, I've got the volume set to 60% and then I've actually got it set to go 1% higher in the night. However, um, you can just turn that on and off. You can also change here whether you want to use the internal speaker, the USB external speaker or the external Bluetooth speaker. Remember the Pro at the time of recording does not have a internal speaker. You can attach a USB speaker such as this one, which is available to purchase separately from the UK Departures Board online shop. Once you've got these all set up, you can see I've got a Bluetooth speaker attached to my classic board at the moment. And you update that. And that is when you will then get the announcements. Platform nine for the 2145 London Overground service to Watford Junction. Calling at South Hampstead, Kilburn High Road, Queen's Park, Kensal Green, Wilsdon Junction, Harlesden, Stonebridge Park, Wembley Central, North Wembley, South Kenton, Kenton, Harrow and Wealdstone, Headston Lane, Hatch End, Carpenters Park, Bushy, Watford High Street, and Watford Junction.
Platform 9 for the 2145 London Overground service to Watford Junction. And I can adjust exactly how I want the announcements to sound and when I want them to sound. You could, if you wanted, have it set for, to play just for half an hour a day because you may decide, actually, I don't want the audio playing all the time, but I just want to be able to hear it occasionally. In that case, so what you would do, let's say we want to set it to enable the audio announcements at 20 past nine, and we want them to switch off half an hour later at 20.50. So from 21.20, we've got the volume up to 60%, and then from 21.50 down to zero. If we then click update board, from 21.50 until 21.20 the next day, the audio won't play because it will be at 0%. And then from 21.20 to 21.50, the volume will increase to 60%, so you'll have announcements for half an hour.